Independent MP Billy Gordon is refusing to back the budget-blocking threats of Queensland's other crossbenchers. And the Premier has ventured right into the heart of Catter country to try to prevent that happening. Tegan George explains. The Premier went to Mount Isa to talk jobs at the insistence of influential crossbencher Robbie Catter. We're pleading for help from the government. Unemployment there is at 15%, three times what it is in the southeast. It's no surprise people are struggling. Um, I see uh, a lot of shopkeepers with faded clothes and uh, a lot of farmers with mended uh, you know, buttons missing. The visit, a promise made during the high stakes lockout law negotiations. Premier Palaszczuk acknowledging infrastructure is important but... Federal uh, infrastructure funding is critical. Without that, there's only vague promises. Uh, the issues that have been raised, as uh, people are raising with me right across the state, uh, will elements of that will feed into our state budget. You see how happy you are at the back end of the process of, of what's delivered. I think we're always watching each other. <laughs> Fellow North Queensland crossbencher Billy Gordon is refusing to join the Catters' threat to block the budget if they don't get more. Holding the government over a barrel of a gun uh, isn't the way to go. He's also against handing over power to the LNP should the Premier try to call an early election. There is no way in the world that I would be a party to any strategy that hands back government to a Lawrence Springborg led opposition. The police minister also not a fan of the opposition, especially when it continues raising concerns about more outlaw bikey gangs muscling in on Queensland. I'd suggest that people uh, take a bit of a cold shower, stop hyperventilating about these matters. A government review into the Vlad laws is due by the end of the month. Tegan George, 10 Eyewitness News.